Do you have any fun activities planned today? I think it will be a very good day. Well, I like to start every class doing a little song. If you came to my class this week, you know this song. This is the hello song. It's a very fun and happy song and I like to sing it so that I can wake up and get ready to practice English. It's a very easy song. If you don't know the words, that's okay. You just have to listen and repeat, okay? Okay, let's try singing together. Come on. Every day, every day, I go to school. I go to school. I meet my friends. I meet my friends. And we all say, and we all say, such a funny, happy song. Okay, let's try again. Remember, listen. Every day. Every day. I go and play. I go and play. I meet new friends. I meet new friends. And we all say. And we all say. Hello, hello. What's your name? Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? It's a very, very happy song. I love it. Now, we are warmed up, our brains are working, and we are ready to practice some English together. Yesterday, we started to practice some shapes, like a circle or a square. Today, we're going to learn some more shapes. So let's review what we started yesterday. Maybe you will learn something new. Let's see. Okay, this is a circle. Many, many things that we can see in our life is a circle shape. We have circle clocks, circle pies, circle CDs, and circle pizzas with circle tomato slices. Can you look around 
your home? Is there anything that looks like a circle? Okay. Our second shape that we learned about yesterday was the square. S-Q-U-A-R-E. A square has four sides. One, two, three, four. And it has four corners. One, two, three, four. Look around your home. Do you see squares? Maybe in the kitchen? Maybe in the living room? Here we have a square window a square light switch, a square playing die, and a square present. Do you remember learning about this shape? This is a triangle. A triangle has three sides. One, two, three. It also has three points. One, two, and three. That's how you know it's a triangle. Remember, triangles can look a little different. One, two, three. See, this is a triangle too. Here we have a triangle stop sign to help the drivers and a triangle musical instrument. You take this piece and you hit the triangle and it sounds like ding, 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 ding. Okay. Next, we learned about a rectangle. A rectangle is like a square because it has four sides. But a rectangle, oops, what am I doing with my crazy numbers? Three and four. A rectangle, remember, has long sides and short sides, but a square has the same sides. This is a square. And this is a rectangle. A rectangle envelope for sending letters. A rectangle television. And a rectangle ruler. Okay, do you remember this shape? This is an oval. An oval? What other shape does an oval look like? It sort of 
sort of looks like a circle, but maybe a little longer. This is a circle. And this is an oval. Watermelons and eggs are ovals. They are not perfectly round like a circle. They are long. Okay. Now we are getting into some very fun shapes. A pentagon. Pentagon. Okay, what is a pentagon? Well, a pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. It also has five points. One, two, three, four, five. This clock is shaped like a pentagon. Can you see it? Right here. One, two, three, four, five. And it also has a circle right inside. Two shapes in one. Very nice. If you look at the shapes on a soccer ball, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The dark spots have five sides. Okay, look at this. A hexagon. Hexagon. Can you guess how many sides a hexagon has? Take a guess. Did you say six? Let's check. One, two, Three, four, five, six. And of course, one, two, three, four, five, six points too. Six sides, six points. That is a hexagon. Wow, look at this. When bees are making their homes, they build in the shape of a hexagon. Isn't that interesting? Look at how they all fit together so perfectly. Nature is very cool. Here, we can see a nut. Not a nut that you eat, but 
This is a nut you use with tools. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that, another hexagon. And on the inside, a circle. Can you see any hexagons in your home? Another shape. Okay, what do you think about this shape? How many sides do you think it has? Well, if a pentagon has five and a hexagon has six, maybe a heptagon has seven? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven-sided shape? That's crazy. This coin has seven sides. Can you see the seven sides? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, seven, that's right. It has seven sides. Oh, look at this shape. A rhombus. That's a little strange, isn't it? Rhombus. Some people, when they see a rhombus, they call it a diamond. A rhombus, like a square, has four sides. But it looks a little squished. It doesn't really look like a square. It's like a square on its side and a little bit taller. Kites are rhombuses. One, two, three, four. I love flying kites. If you play cards, you see this shape on the ace and other cards. When you play, we call it a diamond. This is the ace of diamonds. But a diamond is really a rhombus. And now we have some more interesting shapes. You can see a trapezoid also has four sides, like a square or like a rectangle. We have two sides that face each other. And we have two sides that are slanting. That is a trapezoid. So if you look at this bag, or this cheese grater, you can see the trapezoid shape. We see it there and here.
This one is really, really tall. Look at this one. Whoa. Oh, this is a shape that's very familiar. If you see stop signs when you are walking down the street, you can see an octagon. How many sides does an octagon have? Let's try counting. One. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, eight sides. See, it looks just like a stop sign. Stop signs are almost always in the shape of an octagon. I think we reached the end. We have octagon, trapezoid, rhombus, heptagon, hexagon, pentagon, oval, Rectangle, triangle, square, and of course, circle. Nice, wow, we learned a lot of different shapes, didn't we? Did you know some of those shapes before? Excellent. And maybe we learned some new ones too, like a rhombus or an octagon. Very strange. Today, you should look around your home and see if you can find all of the shapes that we talked about. Maybe you can find some circles or some rectangles hidden in little places around your home or your room. Well, you did a really good job with your shapes. Remember, keep practicing. Okay, well, let's try something else. What should we do? Hmm. I know. I have the perfect idea of what we can practice right now. I want to tell you about four words. Just four words. First, I'm going to show you these four words. Here, let me show you. The four words are this, that, these, and those. This, that, these, and those. What is that? Well, I will show you. We use those words so we know what things we are talking about. For example, do you want this pen or that pen? This pen or that pen? If you have one thing 
and it's close to you, you say this. Like, what is this? If you have one thing and it's far away, it's that. What is that? What is this? This, that. That pen, this pen. Seems pretty simple, right? Excellent. Okay. So, if you have one, it's this or that. But if you have more than one, like if you have two, you say these. These pens. Those pens. These pens. Those pens. Close. These. Far. Those. These. Those. These. Those. I think you've got it. Let's review one more time. This pen, that pen, these pens, those pens. Okay, I think you've got it, but don't worry, we'll practice. Let's take a look. So now this picture makes more sense. We can see the hand here touching the apple. That means it is close. So if we have one and it's close, we use this. This is an apple. In this picture, we see the hand pointing to the apple. It is far. So we have one and it's far, so we use that. That is an apple. This is an apple. That is an apple. Now, we have more than two. We have more than one. We are going to use these. We can see that the hand is close. It is touching the apples. So we use these. One apple, this. Three apples or two apples, these, this, these. Okay, and in this last picture, we can see the three apples, but they are far away. So, 
we use those those apples. Okay, let's do a little more practice with this. So let's look at this picture here. Everything close to the person is over here. Let's give this person a nice happy face. Yay! Remember, close, far, close, far. Let's look at number one. So we have to choose this, these, that, or those. Number one. Hmm. Shoes are black. Hmm. Okay. Well, look at the picture. Do you see shoes in the picture? I do. I see shoes here and I see shoes here. But which shoes are black? Are these shoes black? No, these. Remember, we have one, two, and it's close. So we're going to say these. These shoes are black. Okay, let's look at number two. Shoes are gray. Okay, well, we know these are the black shoes. So these are the gray shoes. But look, so far away. Remember, when it's far, we use those. Correct. So we have these shoes are black. Those shoes are gray. Close. Far. Excellent. Let's look at numbers three and four. We are talking about a pen. We have a small pen and a very large pen. Let's find the pens in the picture. Pen. <gasps> Whoa, pen. Okay. So, which pen is the small pen? This one. This one. Correct. The close pen is the small pen. So, we want to say this. This pen is small and that pen <coughs> is very large because it's so far away. That. 
Okay. So, let's look again. This pen is small. That pen is large. Nice job. Let's look at number five. Number five and number six, clock. Let's find the two clocks. One here and one here. The time on hmm, clock is five. Okay, so which clock shows five? Is it this one? Correct. Look at the clock. We can see the time. The time is five. The clock is very far. So, that's right, we use that. The time on that clock is five. So, if that clock is five, this clock shows the other time. This clock, that clock. The time on this clock is 11.50. Okay, nice job. Number seven. Number seven and eight are talking about a plane. So let's find the planes. Okay, we have this one here and another one here. Let's read the sentence again. Hmm. Plane is a toy. Okay. So, which plane is the toy? Toy? No. A toy plane? Yes, of course, we can see the little girl playing with the toy plane. And it's very far away, so we know we want to use that. That plane is a toy, which means this plane is not a toy. This plane, that plane. Nice one. You're getting better and better at this. Okay, number nine. Cat. Cat is eating. Well, let's find the cats. Cat and cat. Remember, close and far. So which cat is eating? Is it this cat or that cat? 
That's right, it's this cat. This cat is eating. Which means that cat is not eating. This cat, that cat. Okay, finished number nine, finished number 10. So we only have two more. Number 11 says, hmm, glasses are for reading. And number 12 says, hmm, glasses are sunglasses. So let's find the glasses first. Oh, right here and here. So, which glasses are for reading? These glasses or those glasses? That's right, it's those glasses. So, let's try it. Those glasses are for reading. Which means these are sunglasses. Okay, let's go over these to make sure that we got all of the right answers. Remember, close and far. Number one, these shoes are black. Number two, those shoes are gray. Far shoes, close shoes. Okay, good. Number three, this pen is small. That pen is very large. Okay, good. This pen, that pen. Number five. The time on that clock is five. The time on this clock is 11.50. Number seven, that plane is a toy. Number eight, this plane is not a toy. Check and check. Number nine, this cat is eating Number 10, that cat is not eating. Check and check. Okay, last one. Those glasses are for reading. These glasses are sunglasses to protect your eyes from the bright, bright sun. Look at that, we finished everything. Wow, 
You did a really good job. Remember, this, that, these, those. Nice job. You really did a good job today. I'm very impressed. Well, that's the end of class for today. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me and learning and practicing English. I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.